What is the greatest prime fact factor of three? Three to the seventh minus twenty-seven. Now, usually when we see like a simple equation like this, we go ahead and compute this. Compute that simple equation. I do that. It looks very simple, but we got that three to the seventh, and oh boy, that drives me crazy. So, I'm not gonna compute this. I'm gonna think of this a little more. Efficiently. First, I'm going to think about how we deal with this equation. Just forget about the other stuff. How to deal with this equation? Well, first, I think if I write 27 as three cubed, I can factor this equation. And if you don't see how, you can just write three to the seventh as three cubed times three to the fourth minus three cubed times. A little too small. Three cubed times, let's see, three to the fourth minus one. Oh yeah, I forgot the parentheses. I could go ahead and compute this, three to the fourth minus one, which is a little bit easier than doing that. In fact, it's not a little bit easier, it's a whole lot easier. Since if you know your powers of three, you know three to the fourth is eighty-one, or you can just see three to the fourth is nine squared, which is eighty-one. Nine squared, which is eighty-one, not nine or eighty-one. Never mind. Then we have that three cubed, which is twenty-seven, and eighty minus one is eighty. Now take this. Really, all we need to do is find. The largest or greatest math terms prime factor of that mess. Well, it's not messy; it's just two numbers. But how do you find the greatest? Oh yeah, yeah, prime factor, prime factorization of this number. Now we don't need to compute this number to find out the prime factorization of this. We can just say, well, whatever this is, when we multiply these out, our product is the product of these two numbers. That means whatever this is, we can just start from here and compute that. Anyway, it's this is three cubed. Twenty-seven is three cubed. I feel like I've been writing three cubed the whole problem. Comes up a lot. Three cubed. Three cubed. Three cubed. Eight is just eight times ten. Oh, let's. Three, eight is two cubed, and ten is two times five. And we don't need to simplify this down any further to see our answer is five. Even though we can compute this from factorization a little bit more. Let's see, two to the fourth times five to the first, and our answer is still five. Really good. There we go. Don't need a circle with twice, and we had our answer.